Hi guys, over my shoulder back here, we have the full moon rising over Lake Michigan. This is just gonna be a short video because it is getting dark. So it was also a lunar eclipse today. It's not visible in the Americas or the British Isles, but we're still under the influence of its energy. I made a video earlier about the top five crystals that you can work with with the full moon. The funny thing is, is because it's associated with the creative side of our brain, left side versus right side, uh, so you've got the creative side, but then when it comes to logics and mathematics, it sure doesn't help with that because, man, I sure the couldn't count today because I said a top five crystals in my video and I ended up listing six. So anyways, with that Scorpio energy of the full moon coming out of that, uh, also that went with that solar eclipse with the new moon in Aries, the common theme that they have is intensity. A lot of you may be feeling very passionate. It could be about another person or it could be getting more, uh, diving deeper into your hobbies. And there may be leveling up with emotional connections right now because Scorpio is of the water element. Um, and out of all the water signs, I would say that Scorpio definitely has deeper, darker undercurrents. So any emotions that you may have been feeling may be really intense right now because it is the full moon you're releasing. Um, so you may be getting rid of some toxic cycles. You may be starting some new chapters. Uh, quite a few people that I've been talking to have all, I wouldn't say all, but I feel like there's some new beginnings in people's romantic lives lately, like really like the solid real deal, not just, you know, they're getting a lot of attention from people, but talking about making real emotional connections. And it's really awesome to see. Um, and it's cloudy out, so I wasn't really sure if we were going to be able to see the moon tonight, and I'm so happy, you know, that it's peeking through the clouds and we're able to see it. And it's too dark to see right now, but I literally had about six deer around. They were all just minding their own business, munching on the grass in the twilight. It's seriously magical. Well, I hope you all have a great rest of your night and take advantage of this energy with the full moon and Scorpio. Um, it's also very magnetic. You may be attracting and manifesting a lot of the things, seeds that you planted back in November when the moon was new in Scorpio. Well, I hope you all have a great rest of your night and thank you for watching and check out my video about the top five best crystals to work with for the full moon. Um, so the energy energy is around three days leading up to the full moon and lingers for about three days after, so you can still work with those crystals and take advantage of that energy. Well, thank you all and have a great rest of your night.